Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you how I draw a lizard eye. Start off by sketching the outlines. Uh, they don't have to be exact or perfect um, as long as you follow the basic shape that I'm showing you in this video. I should also mention that in this video I'm using a Pentel P207 0.7mm mechanical pencil with HB high polymer leads. But the equipment that you use doesn't really matter. I think as long as you use any kind of pencil um, they will all work very well for this kind of drawing. And I really believe that the type of pencil that you use is more about personal preference, so choose a pencil that you're comfortable with and you'll be fine. Once you've completed the outline, it's time to start adding some basic shading. I started by adding some basic shading to the eyeball itself, and then from there I started adding some layers of um, extra details like veins and some wrinkles on the eyeball, um, and I made sure to leave an area for highlights. I think highlights are extremely important when you're drawing eyes, as they really help to give the 3D effect and they make the drawing seem like it has a lot more depth. Um, especially when it's contrasting against the darker tones of the eyeball. Creating the veins and the details on the eye um, really just require you to uh, work on your shadow and highlight placement. So as you can see on the vein on the left of the eye, there's uh, the darker side is on the left and the right side of the vein is uh, much brighter. Uh, that's because my light source in this example is from the right, um, so I can figure out how I would place the shadows. Once I was getting comfortable with the amount of detail I'd added, I started shading in the pupil and I made sure to leave um, some area for highlights uh, on this area as well. I think the highlights contrasting with the black of the pupil really helps to add even more of an effect. After this, using the sections of the sketching that I completed initially, I started adding some outlines of scales. So I started adding outlines of scales on the ridge above the eye. And then after that I started filling them in with some shading. Um, I wanted to keep the right side and the top of the each scale um, highlighted uh, to give the effect of the light source from the right. It's really important to keep the light source in mind when you're working on a drawing like this because you don't want to make the drawing seem confusing. And in some cases it can be really noticeable when the shading is in the wrong places. And once I finished shading the scales on the ridge of the eye, I started adding outlines to the next section and I started shading in the same way and I followed this process for the rest of the um, sections that I initially sketched at the beginning of this drawing. Just repeating the process of adding the scales and the shading and then moving on to the next section to do the same. Shading the scales can be quite a tedious process um, so I apologise for that. Uh, this drawing probably took me about um, four hours I think in total.
And once you get to a point where you've filled in all of the shading of the drawing, you can continue to refine the details and add some more veins and details and highlights. Um, I really recommend focusing on the shadows and the highlights. Um, as they, when they contrast, they can create such a feeling of depth and they can make the eye stand out so much more. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this drawing video and I hope the tutorial was helpful in some way. And as always, if you enjoy drawing videos, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you can and if you want to, then please like, share, favourites. That kind of support is hugely appreciated and it means a lot to me. Um, if you want to contact me via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, I have all of my links in the description box below and you can feel free to contact me there. And if you've worked on anything similar to this, then feel free to show me there and I'll be sure to have a look. I really hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.